What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's episode, we'll go ahead and set up the treasure quest. So when we open up our chest, it will mark that objective as completed. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to learn how to make an FPS shooter in Unreal Engine 5 with all the mechanics you need in only one week. And if you use the coupon code GORKA GAMES in all caps, you get 20% off. So check it out through the link in the description. Alright, so the first thing I want to do is import our chest model. So let's right click and let's create a new folder. Let's call it chest. And let's, of course, if I spell it correctly, and let's open this up. So, what we need to do is basically download this free model from Sketchfab, which I will be limited in the description. So, basically, you just have to extract the folder and now we're going to get the FBX itself and the textures. Uh, the FBX might be embedded in another zip, which you will need to extract called the source, but you know. Basically, you just get the FBX textures and you just drag them into Unreal Engine. And now what we need to do is just press reset to default just in case and then just hit import animations. Make sure that this is ticked on with the default settings. With that said, leave the skeleton empty of course and just say import all. And it will go ahead and import all the things that we need. As our chest with all the textures, it will create uh, two materials for us and also we'll have our animation as you can see. So we have open and close. So for example, we just see the open is as simple as that. Maybe we want to speed again, gonna put it like two uh, because I think it would look a bit nicer. So let's just put the rate scale to be two. Uh, now we can do is just Ctrl Shift S to save everything. And once everything is saved, I am going to be applying the textures and the materials so they look nice, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and open the textures. You can see we have all this stuff. They're nicely named. So let's open the first material, which is the M chest reinforcement. Let's double click on this. Just put it on here and just press Ctrl space to open up our tab. Go into our textures folder. And now we can see we have the reinforcement. So we can just go ahead and just type reinforcement. So we only get the ones that are for this specific material. So it's easier for us. And now we can get the albedo. Okay, delete this and plug the albedo and the base color. Then we can get the AO, which is the ambient occlusion, plugged into the ambient occlusion. Then we can get the metallic, into metallic, of course. Then the normal, which is this uh, purple one, we could say, into the normal, of course. And then last but not least, the roughness, which will be in roughness. So now we can just apply this material, you can see it's already looking pretty nice, and save it, and it will be automatically applied to our chest as you can see. So now we just need the, uh, to place the wood. So let's just put here wood and now we get the other material. So let's just go ahead and get the albedo once again, plug it in, uh, in the base color. Pretty much the same thing. The AO into the ambient occlusion, the metallic into metallic, the normal into normal. They're in the names so the texture is very easy and then roughness into roughness. So now we can say apply, hit save, you need to wait two seconds and now our chest is complete as you can see and it looks pretty pretty cool and pretty nice great so there we go i'm gonna rename the chest animation to just be chest and then just underscore open because i don't think that we need uh, you know all that armature in the name uh great so with that said let's right click and create a new blueprint class and this will be an actor because it will be placed in our level it's gonna be bp underscore and then just chest and let's open this up so basically here what we need to do is add a new skeleton mesh okay in this case it will be our chest model itself so now we can just search for chest we can see here chest selected and then what we need to do is rotate it 90 degrees so i'm here in the uh, rotation so that axis 90 degrees so it's basically facing the correct way uh, I think actually is minus 90 yeah and with that said we have our chest now maybe it's too big so let's try this out drag it into the level and indeed it is a bit too big so what we need to do is maybe reduce the size so with the lock on let's put it maybe 0.6 I think that it will be, actually maybe 0.7 uh, so it's like a premium chest you know yeah I think 0.7 is great uh, so let's you know place our chest maybe right over here it doesn't really matter let's just put it right here right great so with that said we can now just go into our chest and uh, let's basically create this trigger zone so let's select the default scene root 
search for a collision and once again it will be a sphere collision so we need to trigger so this is very similar to what we did with the items for example the sword when we pick it up or the dummy to assassinate it basically this area will be the one that if, if the player is inside we can interact so i think that you know 150 will work very you know just great and now you just go ahead and go in the uh and just leave the collision preset to be overlap all dynamic yeah, with that said, let's create a new interface so we can interact with our chest. So just right click, go into blueprints interface, BPI underscore NOB chest, okay? For now, let's just make one specific for our chest because it would just make things easier. Let's open this up and automatically we'll create a new function and let's just call this interact. Uh, actually, I think it would be better if we just name it, you know, just uh, open chest, but you know, it would just make a bit more sense. So let's just name this open chest and right now we will not create any inputs or outputs for now We are going to be living it like this um, I mean actually we can just apply an output already, which is the item that we'll receive right which is the item and in this case This will be you know an s underscore item uh, Well, you know, I think it was named like this So we go to the equipment system You're gonna see that I have the Oh yeah, S slot. So yeah, so we need to basically name this as slot. And then this will be, you know, receiving an item that will give us back to our player. So for now, let's do it like this, close it, and now we can go out to our chest and add it in here. So BPI and it'll be our chest. Great, so now we have the interface there. So we can just double click, open chest. So basically when we interact with it, what we are going to be doing is get our chest and then you say play animation okay directly we can play an animation like this we don't have to create a whole animation blueprint or anything like that let's go ahead and just search for the chest open and then we can just go ahead and just plug that there you know later on we'll do more things here but uh, we can just also pass an item so maybe we can just make a slot well actually it will make sense to just create a variable and just make the item directly so this will be slots right and this will be public so let's click the eye icon and now we can use you specify you know it's gonna be from the weapons and this will be you know maybe a heavy sword whatever we want uh, later on we'll go ahead and just you know play around with that but i think we can just receive a heavy sword so you plug that item into this so basically from the side from our world we can just specify which item we want to be by default we just be that heavy item but it can be whatever you want of course so now we just need to make that our player can access that interface so let's go ahead and open up the third person character blueprint and now we already have an input action to interact which we will do exactly the same so basically if it isn't the you know quest giver interface let's just make another branch over here and also just you know get a bit more space so let's just bring it more over here and it will just be well is this interface in that case let's connect this here the chest interface and if so what we need to do is just go ahead and say open chest which is this one over here and then you can see that we we'll receive that item and then we you know we'll basically just add that item into there so we can just get our equipment system and you say add item or i don't know how it was actually called <laughs> um let me use let me click here so we have our you know component here and add weapon okay so not add item it is add weapon but it's the same thing so add weapon and now we can just go ahead and just pass that item over here great so with that said we have everything set up now we should be able to go into our chest and you know just go ahead and just click e and open this up so we can just go here click e it will open this up and we should receive that specific heavy sword as you can see i have not picked it up from the floor i got it from my chest so now the only thing left to do is to basically you know complete our objective if we do so so let's go ahead and just close both of this and now just go into our quest system make sure to save everything so Control shift s okay let's just open up our bpc quest which is gonna be our uh you know quest component and we already did the eliminate enemy 
effect. So we just need to do what we did here, but with a you know chest. But don't worry, it will be way simpler, okay? Because we will not have an array or anything like that. So uh, basically, what we are going to do is also open up the quest giver, and basically, as you can see in the uh, quest, we have all the information here, right? And right now, in the first mission, we have different objectives, which is you know to do whatever and so on. So basically, we already have created this. So let's select the quest giver from our level. Open up the quest. And in this objective, you know, we have eliminate, which is spelled wrong, <laughs> five enemies, and then, uh, you know, whatever. And then let's go ahead and also do the second objective, which is, you know, open chest, right? Whatever. And then it's not completed. And then we are going to leave the is chest objective true. So make sure that's on and then chest to open. Going to go ahead and pick this chest from our level. So the same, the exact same that we did with our enemies, but this time with our chest. Okay, so make sure to always, you know, you know, set the object on the, the level and also tick the boolean. Very important. So with that said, now when we open up our chest, we will call this new custom event, which will be uh, open chest, right? And now here we can go ahead and specify which specific, you know, chest it opened up. So this will, in this case, it's an actor. And in this case, once again, it will be an actor. So same type of thing. So it'll be a normal actor, uh, up to reference. And now basically, if this, uh, just get the quest objective, split it. So now we can just get the, the objectives and make a for each loop. So we'll look through all of them. And now this will give us this, we can just break it. And basically, if, you know, chest, if uh, if it's a chest objective, we'll continue. And then if this chest is the same as this chest, well, that's great. So let's go ahead and just make an and boolean here. So and, so it'll be, you know, if it's a chest objective and it's this one. In that case, we want to go ahead and just basically finish our uh, quest. It will mark as completed. So we do exactly the same over here, okay? Let's copy this one. Oh, actually, we'll, let's copy this one, paste it, and then just pass all the parameters that we need. In this case, it will be this one, the array element in target. The name will be the name. The completed will be, well, uh, true. Uh, this can be used like this. Um, the chest to open can just, you know, be empty. We don't need any more. Uh, this can just be like this. And chest objective can just be like this. So now that will be marked as true. And now we can just complete the objective. Uh, and also you sprint just in case. So let's go here, paste it, go over here. And now we just pass that objective and we'll mark as completed. With that said, that should work. Of course, now we need to open up our chest blueprint and call it. So let's select it in our level, uh, press Ctrl E. So Ctrl edit, it will open this up. And now over here, we just need to basically just cast to our third person character and just basically get it from our player character. And then we just want to go ahead and just get our quest uh, component and then just do the uh, chest. So the uh, uh, call function. Okay, don't you know, mistake this with the uh, blueprint interface it has to be the open chest. Okay, custom event, which will basically as you can see receive a parameter and this will be self which is the chest. With that said, this should work. So if I go and press play, I'm gonna go into my guy here, select the Olympus quest, which is the one that has the open chest. Now you can see open chest up in the left. Please enemies don't kill me. If I open now the chest, you can see it's marked as complete. So that is perfectly going ahead and working. So that's it guys. If you found this so helpful, I really appreciate it. You can like the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember that the private files will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members. So check it down, uh, link in the description. Uh, join my Discord server. Check out the FPS scores from Virtus. It's awesome. Follow me on my socials. And now yes, with all said, bye bye.